We were taught that Arabs are an opponent and a serious opponent for our survival and for the survival of the state of Israel. For me, it's a source of light, you know. When I meet a person from an opponent camp and we find the humanity in both of us and to do something, to create music, to create beauty, to share that with people, I feel that, you know, this is the seed, you know, for overcoming the masses on both sides that are just involved in the darkness. For me, it's a great source of hope. Most cultures and most nations and most religions unfortunately teach, you know, this thing is ours, and this thing is ours, and, you know, our God is better than their God, and our music is better than their music, and etc. And, and I, I like to demonstrate, you know, that the human expression, and in this case human expression from the Middle East, has very similar ways of becoming music, you know, when, when somebody has an aching heart or a, a deep longing to God, how does a person express it in the Middle East? It's so similar that the fact that they, they are Jewish or Muslim or Christian is irrelevant. I take an Armenian tune that has the same building blocks as, an, an, as a Jewish tune and I put them together. For the audience it really creates a flow it becomes very clear how we are coming from a one source. After one concert that we had, uh, there was a gentleman who came to me and said, you know, I really like the concert and uh, I want to tell you that I'm Jewish and I know you are Jewish and why do you play all this Arabic music? Why didn't you give us some more Jewish music? <laughs> And I told him, you know, actually there was one Arabic song and all the rest were Jewish. You know, there was a Jewish song from Morocco and there was a Jewish song from Spain, and there was a Jewish song from Yemen, and on and on. And he labeled everything as Arabic and once he labeled it as Arabic, immediately he made a block. And that's what I'm trying to e explain to people and to demonstrate with music. To try to have them pay attention to that one oneness of humanity in them. I remember when we finished the concert, and this is audience in the middle of Missouri, ne they never heard this music before, and they just started applauding and they didn't let us go. They just want us to continue. So we sat down and we started playing a song and the audience suddenly, they held hands and they started dancing, like folk dancing down the aisles, up and down the theater. And it was a spontaneous, they didn't know what they're doing. They didn't know what dance they're doing. They didn't know if it's the style. They didn't know, you know, it was just totally improvised. And it was, the, it was really something that comes from the music. We are artists, we, we work hard to find an artistic solution for a problem. Some great artists work on a symphony for 15 years. And I feel, you know, this is what we are lacking in politics. Imagine if people come up and say, we want our government to be more creative and more inspired in finding a peaceful solution. Oh, you worked on it for a year? You didn't find a solution? That's not enough. Worked on it for another year. Work until you find a solution. Mm -hmm.